Hi, welcome to Analytics in Minutes, where you'll learn how to build Data Studio dashboards. In the coming weeks, I'll show you how to build the ultimate Search Console SEO report. It'll look like this. I'll show you around the SEO dashboard um, and different functionalities that are available. This first quadrant is an index pages on Google. So it will show in comparison to your benchmark uh, month or year over year what um, how many pages you have indexed on Google. And then this one is the index keyword. So how many keywords your website is ranking for against your benchmark month. The date range over here on the left hand is going to be your, your menu or your navigation. So you can change the date range. You can select the different uh, data sets. So you can quickly toggle between your clients. You have our organic overview. Uh, brand versus generic keywords. Keyword analysis is long or short tail versus long tail. Page rankings is going to split up um, so you can narrow down to how the keywords are performing on page one, page two, and page three, and then above page three. Device category, if you want to narrow down to uh, specifically mobile or desktop country, brand versus generic keywords. And then keyword type is going to be the short tail versus long tail keywords. This is how these numbers are um, changing over time. And then your organic search KPIs, so impressions, clicks, site click through rate, and average position for the website as a whole. And then down here you can see again how that um, changes over time and even from a week to week basis. This is going to be your KPIs by um, GeoTarget, so you can narrow down to a specific country that you want to view. You can change to look at goal completions rather than users or traffic to your site and you can even um, drill down further from the state to see the cities because maybe this will show you where you want to be targeting your ads. This is a quick toggle um, to enter dark mode which will be the same metrics just with a different visual vis visualization. Now with our brand versus generic keywords, it'll break down the percentage of your keywords that are branded versus generic. Um, and then you can see those same metrics up here. And we can dive in a little bit deeper to the generic keywords to see impressions, clicks, click through rate and position, how that's changing over time. And the branded keywords. The next one is going to be keywords analysis. This is short tail versus long tail keywords. Again, you can see the percentage of your traffic or your users that are coming from or your rankings, I'm sorry, from long tail, first short tail, impressions, clicks, click through rate, etc., and see how that changes over time. Short tail keywords, we have it broken down specifically where you can see which ones those are, their impressions and, and their KPIs here. Um, we also have a scatter chart, which is based off clicks, so you can quickly see which ones are performing for you, and then the long tail keywords are, are shown in the same way down here. Let's take a look at page rankings and see how we do in position one, two, two through five, and then position six through ten. So those are keywords on Google's first page, keywords on Google's page two, and page three. To these dash dashboards is to see your, your um, SEO campaigns. The way I do SEO is I break it out into silos or bundles where we're kind of attacking one specific um, group grouping of keywords. Uh, and you can see that here. So this is just segmenting that same information, but by our um, keyword silo or our campaign. And you can see how that performs over time impressions and your average position. This SEO dashboard is available in alpha. It will need to be on a month to month monthly basis as the automation of some components um, are still being built. But if it's something that you are interested in, uh, Find my contact information on the about page or you can send me a um, private message.